Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others around the internet. In this episode of Sunday Reflection segment, we present the homily for the first Sunday of Lent based on the liturgical readings of the B-Cycle. The readings of the first Sunday of Lent dwell on the theme, Mature Living of Baptismal Covenant. Johnny had not been a good boy that week. He had gotten into trouble at school and had not done the chores at home that had been assigned to him. His father sat down with him at the end of the week and said, Look Johnny, I am going to buy you a bike that you have been dreaming about. Not because you have been good this week, but just because I want to do it. However, after you get the bike, I expect some things to change around here. I want you to pull your socks up at school. And I want you to be regular in doing your chores to help your mother. Understood? Johnny couldn't believe his good luck. Over the next few weeks after he got his new bike, he did start doing better in school and was pretty regular in his chores. However, then he started to slack off. He fell into the old patterns and spent more time on his bike than he did doing his chores. One morning, he opened the garage to get his bike to go off to school, but his bike wasn't there. He ran back into the house upset and told his dad his bike must have been stolen. His dad replied, You didn't keep your part of the bargain, my son. I have hidden the bike away and you have to work harder to get it back. The readings of the first Sunday of Lent speak of the covenant between God and his people in the Old Testament and New Testament times. We are invited to live mature Christian lives by faithfully doing our part of the baptismal covenant and by living a life of faith and repentance, particularly as we begin the season of Lent. The first reading taken from the book of Genesis tells us that after Adam and Eve broke the original covenant, God made with them by their disobedience and sin. God selected Noah and his family to renew the covenant before the flood. God promised Noah that he would love and care for his descendants and the earth they inhabit. The rainbow that links heaven and earth was given as a sign of this covenant between Noah and Yahweh. In the second reading, St. Peter, addressing the persecuted Christians of the early church, speaks of the new covenant Jesus ratified by his suffering, death and resurrection, to which as Christians they have become partners through their baptism. In baptism, they were not only freed from the original sin, but also have become adopted children of God, heirs of God's kingdom, members of the church and temples of the Holy Spirit. St. Peter says further that the waters of baptism are an antitype to the waters of the flood in Noah's time. The flood waters destroyed all people except Noah and his family. However, the waters of baptism cleanse and save all people who turn to Christ in faith and brings them justification which consists in having right relationship with God and sanctification which implies living a life in the Holy Spirit. In the Gospel, St. Mark narrates Jesus' days of prayer in the desert being tempted by Satan and the beginning of his public ministry. After Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist in the Jordan, he goes to the desert for a prolonged time of prayer in preparation for his public ministry. At the end of the 40 days Jesus spent in the wilderness in prayer and preparation, he was tempted by Satan. St. Mark does not give details of the temptation of Jesus as described by 
evangelists and Matthew and St. Luke in their Gospels. In all probability, the main temptation Jesus faced was to present himself as the political messiah of power and fame and use his divine power for his personal comfort and to avoid suffering and death. By saying that Jesus was with wild animals and angels attended to him, St. Mark implies that Jesus did not succumb to the temptation, but decided to walk on the path of suffering his heavenly father had marked out for him. Having defeated the insinuation of the tempter and deciding to be the suffering Messiah as per the plan of his heavenly father, Jesus began his public ministry by announcing that the time has come and the kingdom of God is at hand. And by calling people to repent and believe in the good news he was preaching. On this first Sunday of Lent, the readings and the liturgy invite us, firstly, to use the season of Lent to fight daily against evil within and around us. Like Jesus who overcame the insinuations of the tempter in the wilderness, we must fight against evil within us and around us. This calls for taking up the fight against temptation each day and never giving up the fight. Believing in Jesus' assurance that the Holy Spirit is with us to empower us so that final victory will be ours through Jesus Christ. Secondly, the liturgy today calls us to make the season of Lent a time for spiritual growth and Christian maturity. We can do this by participating in the Holy Eucharist oftener than we otherwise do by receiving the sacrament of reconciliation more frequently, by setting aside some part of our day for personal and family prayer, by reading some scripture alone or with others, by setting aside some money that we might spend on ourselves to care for the less fortunate in our society, and by reaching out to those who need our time and care. Finally, the liturgy today calls us to live our baptismal covenant with God by renewal of life. Traditionally, the season of Lent is the time of penance, the time to purify ourselves from sinful habits, and the time to get ready to celebrate the Paschal mystery of Christ, that is, the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ, by renewing our commitment to follow Christ. Thus, The season of Lent calls us to live our baptismal covenant with God by renewing our Christian life. Concretely, such living our baptismal covenant with God consists in reflecting so as to know where we stand as Christians, in accepting the gospel challenges in thought, word, and deed, assessing our relationships with our family, friends, working colleagues, and other people, and examining the positive contribution we make to others' lives. Having done this, we must make up for what is lacking in our lives by taking the needed positive action and live a renewed Christian life. As we enter into the first week of Lent, let us ask the Lord the grace to fight against all forms of evil within us and around us. Make an honest effort to renew our lives and grow as mature Christians. Thereby, live our baptismal covenant with God by renewing our Christian life. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.